Hello, my name is Doug Weaver. I'm an engineer and partner with Rose and Associates, and I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to our unconventional resource assessment and valuation course uh, we call URAV. Now, this course has been around for about 10 years, but arguably there's never been a better time uh, in industry to learn the principles we're going to present in this course than today. Now, we know that the current world health crisis has helped bring almost catastrophic financial times to the oil and gas industry, but it's important for us to realize that this isn't the only cause of the economic problems that we're seeing in industry. Uh, well before any of these health issues arose, uh, many companies were in uh, desperate financial shape. Reason being, uh, as noted from this Wall Street Journal article, we're over predicting and under delivering on many of the projects that are being funded. As a specific example of that, here's a study Rose did for one of our large clients on 16 of their unconventional projects across North America over a couple year time period. Uh, Pre-drill, all 16 of these projects uh, were presented and funded uh, under the uh, assumption they were going to achieve a 40% rate of return or greater. A note from the statistics we're showing here, 80% uh, of the ind individual wells were uneconomic and 94% of these projects didn't break even. They were uneconomic. Only one of the 16 projects uh, even achieved any economic success. So this course was developed to help you evaluate, design, and execute unconventional projects, and in doing so, achieve predictable results. After a brief introduction, uh, we'll walk through statistics. We'll give an overview of statistics. It's going to be the basis of a lot of what we do in the course. Uh, we'll spend the afternoon of the first day teaching you how to deal with uncertainty and biases. Uh, we'll get into some things you'd expect to find in the course, like estimating resources and chance of success, how to develop type curves and the basis behind them. And then we'll get back to statistics and we'll get into aggregation principles. More on that in a bit. Uh, we'll get into estimating res resources and reserves. Uh, we'll give you some tools that are very useful in this realm of decision trees and how they can help us calculate value of information. Uh, we'll get into a critical concept, um, decision stage gate assessment. And more on that also in a minute. And we'll finish up the uh, course with a day-long exercise we call the Utopia Shale Capstone Exercise. The Utopia Shale exercise is, for most students, usually the highlight of the class. Again, it's a day-long exercise. Uh, there's a ranch in Central Texas, or six ranches in Central Texas, and you're going to bid for the rights to drill and produce from those six ranches in a competitive bid situation. Uh, you'll have to bring to bear in this exercise pretty much everything you learned in the course, um, resource assessments, completion design, uh, even some economic parameters. And, and as a heads up, uh, bring your wallets. Uh, there's going to be some real money that changes hands, not only actually in the Utopia Shale exercise, but a couple of the other exercises in the course. Uh, because we find, you know, even though it's not a lot of money, exchange of money helps to reinforce the ideas and the concepts in the course. And the ultimate concept, which is you really want your companies to make money. So we'll practice it in the class and then you'll do it for real when you get back to the office. One of the biggest problems we find with the performance in unconventional resource um, opportunities is that most companies for some reason think they're in development for all their projects, that they're just in this continuous drilling uh, mode without taking the time to evaluate the results of what they've already done. And so one of the things that we're going to talk a lot about in this course is the concept of staging our projects and that there's four critical stages. One is discovery, and then deliverability stage, a demonstration stage. And if we've made it through all those stages, then we're ready to go forward with development. So this is one of the critical concepts that we'll come back to again and again in the course. Now, when I went through the course outline, you note that the very first thing we talk about is give you some background in statistics, and there's a reason for that. And statistics are going to become the basis for a lot of the ways and the tools we develop to design our unconventional projects. 
and I skipped right over a chapter on aggregation, so let's go into that a little bit more. One of the things we're going to find out is that as our well count increases, so does our confidence, and our uncertainty tends to decrease. And so we're going to take advantage of that in a series of tools, that I'm, a couple of which I've displayed here. Uh, for example, trumpet plots, where we can actually measure how that uncertainty decreases as our well count increases. Uh, we can uh, make a derivative of that called a confidence curve, where we can actually come up with a confidence to achieve a certain rate based on the statistics behind the type curve for that particular project and the number of wells we choose to drill. And of critical importance, uh, and something that everybody should be doing, uh, are these aggregation plots where we actually track our performance based on, again, the inputs to that type curve. And we're able, as we execute these projects, to actually see how well the assumptions behind that type curve uh, are being validated or not, and what adjustments we might need to make to that program uh, as we continue to execute it. It's a brief introduction to our URAV course. Um, I truly believe that there's some very powerful tools and techniques that are taught in this course uh, that now, more than ever, can be critically helpful to making your companies profitable in, in unconventional resource plays. Um, we'll be teaching um, the course this fall. Uh, here's our um, 2020, what we call open course schedule um, in Houston, Pittsburgh, Buenos Aires, and Midland. Uh, you can get more information and sign up for these courses uh, on our website, which is, which is shown here. Uh, for larger companies, uh, of course, we also schedule and conduct uh, in-house courses uh, where there's enough students to um, you know, develop a course for particular companies. Uh, but again, I, I, I truly think this can be very helpful to you, and, and I hope to see you in the fall. Thank you.